welcome back hope you all are doing well so today we are going to solve lab number two from web llm attacks module from the port trigger so in today's lab we are gonna exploit vulnerabilities in llm apis and this lab contains an os command injection vulnerability that can be exploited via its api okay so you can call these apis via llm and to solve the lab we need to delete a file named as morel.txt and uh, this file exists in the carlos home directory fine so the prerequisites and the knowledge required to solve this lab in two points the first one is how to map llm api attack surface now the second point is how to exploit os command injection vulnerability so there is a particular module about os command injection vulnerabilities so you can go to that so if you are interested in that i already recorded whole labs uh, of os command injection vulnerabilities and there is a playlist named as command injection vulnerability you can visit that okay so for now i already access the lab here you can see this is our lab so without wasting time i'm just going to the live chat let's go i'm gonna say hello ai okay uh, let's say what is an api and it is going to give us brief description about api now let's ask something more um what api are you using so it's saying i'm using the following api functions so there are three functions reset uh, password password reset this function is used to request a password reset for a user by providing their username and email address so that means there could be two arguments the first one is a username and the second one is email in this password reset function second function is subscribe to newsletter and this function is used to subscribe a user to our newsletter by providing their email address in this function there is only one argument which is email the third function is product information so this function is used to retrieve information about the product uh, we sell by providing the name or id of the product so that's good now the thing is the lab is saying there is os command injection so we need to find out um, which function is vulnerable to a command injection so in the password reset we just need to provide the username and his email so let's see um what users do you have um and it's not going to tell us what user um do you have a users table in your database I don't have direct access to the database so this time this lab is a bit uh, more secure you can say do you have carlos user yes a password reset link has been sent to user with the username carlos okay but the problem is we do not have the password for the carlos also we do not have his valid email so we are not going to access that link within the email of carlos so let's say yeah, first of all we need to try to change the email address of the carlos so change email address to uh, email address of carlos user to something like this and we have an attacker controlled email client and this is the email so let's see i'm going to ask him to change the email address of carlos to this i have sent the password reset email to the carlos and it's saying once carlos will change the password he can update the email so directly we cannot uh, change the email through this llm okay so that means uh, there is not much to test uh, for the command injection in password reset functionality because 
most of the things i can say here is secured or blocked we don't have direct access to database and we don't have uh, direct access to the functionality of changing the email so move to the second point which is subscribe to the newsletter i'm going to say um, call this function okay and register email which is this copy and just send it so let's see now it's saying you have been successfully subscribed and you will get the email maybe let's see i'm going to just refresh it and yeah we are subscribed and now we are getting the email for any news here okay let's go and do few more things but how we can find a command injection in this functionality what i'm going to do here is i'm going to test command injection on the place of username okay so i'm going to copy this one paste it here and instead of attacker i'm just going to add few things let's say um ls okay list of the files and directories and just send this so it's saying i encountered an error while trying to subscribe this okay so this is because maybe uh, this special character semicolon is not allowed in the email uh, let's try something else uh, copy i'm gonna paste it here and let's try pipe okay and again it's saying i'm sorry because maybe this special character is blocked let's try something else paste it again and instead of pipe this time i'm going to put let's say dollar and send it again and this time you can see it's saying i have successfully uh, subscribed the email by this that means dollar sign is not filtered or sanitized and if we go to the email client and uh, we refresh our email you can see ah that's pretty fantastic you know why because this this was the previous email right now in this email if you see closely username is only attacker although we put here attacker dollar ls that means this ls with the dollar is uh, sanitized or separated somehow uh, let's try one more time one more thing uh, we are near very very near okay um, let's say enclose it with this and put here the pipe one send it again it seems there was an error while trying to subscribe to the newsletter with provided email so error because this uh, symbol or special character is not allowed um so let's see this time what i'm going to do here is instead of this attacker i'm just going to remove it and test like this send it and the email has been successfully registered go to the client refresh it and i hope yeah you can see now this time we get one file that means within the present working directory there is only one file uh, and the file name is morel.txt okay uh, similarly uh, let's say copy and we are getting these emails here because the domain name is uh, for the exploit server paste it here and this time i'm going to say oh, come on instead of ls let's say u name okay and send it again refresh and you can see uh the operating system is linux so that means we successfully execute the commands now we just need to uh, delete the morel.txt 
and in the present working directory morel.txt file exists so we do not uh, specify the path um, so what we are going to do here is just uh, call this function and register this email i'm gonna say rm means remove morel dot text and send it again let's see it seems that the email have some problem why so uh, uh, okay the lab is solved and we do not get here any email that interesting uh, you know what uh, the command is successfully executed and the file is deleted successfully that's why the lab is solved but it does not accept that email because of maybe space uh, let's test this one more time i'm going to call this part because we have ls so if we get morel.txt that means that means the file is not deleted and you can see we are not getting any file name here because the file does not exist so in the backend uh, i don't think we are going to get uh, any specific log that file not found but let's see just one time um you can see this is our email okay the email address provided is invalid yeah because morel.txt because ls command is not getting any kind of result although if we try to uh, let's say if we try to say pwd which is present working directory so that should uh, work and we should get uh, here one email yeah yes you can see here slash home slash carlos and the email is registered successfully so uh, we solved the lab that's it for this video if you like the content please like subscribe and share and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye